Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. Guys, this tutorial will be really, really small. Guys, I'll be just going through the differences between photodiode and phototransistor. So basically, let us come from first from symbol. So basically, I I missed this thing, guys. So this terminal is called as anode, and this terminal is called as cathode. Okay, for a photodiode, photodiode will be having two terminals. Okay, that's fine. So that is anode and cathode. So phototransistor will be having also two that is collector and emitter with this symbol and this symbol. So we use a p-n junction, right? This is a p-n junction, right? Is used to construct a photodiode. For phototransistor, we use a transistor. From the names, guys, transistor diode. What's there to confuse in that? That's really simple. Okay, guys. So now I hope everyone got a small idea. So a photodiode generates only current, guys. Whereas photo transistor can generate current plus voltage okay and a photo diode response time is really fast guys so basically i think i didn't say you the use of a photo diode so basically i hope everyone visited some kind of malls or some kind of things guys in where they will be counting the number of people attended so in that kind of places a laser beam will be falling off so that if any object passes it it's going to blink right so on the surface it's not going to point the if it is the surface and if it's our laser beam so it will be directed like this and it touches it if someone passes on it's not it's not going to touch so in that life in that small span it's going to count the number of people who are attending it so like that its response speed is very fast it's slow sensitivity for this photodiode is really less guys whereas for this is more and uses general solar power for detecting ultraviolet rays yeah this is also a use and for photo transistor relay counting systems okay even this is used for counting systems that's fine computer logic circuits and smoke detectors okay guys so now i hope everyone is now 100% clear with our topic so in the next tutorial we'll be going through LED guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.